Machine learning can help you create ever-improving businesses, and in this video, I will show you how. Hi there, I'm Colin Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI shot. So we already discussed on a previous video what is artificial intelligence and what are predictions, we will leave the links above. In this one, we will talk about what is machine learning. And if you want to, if you are interested in knowing more about machine learning, the introductory concepts, the, like the ABCs, the, the 101 on machine learning, I will leave a link below with a more free online course where we cover all of these concepts. But on this one, we will discuss what is machine learning, right? So machine learning has two words right on it. It has machine and it has learning. Let's start with defining what is learning. So let's just put, let's just imagine that I have like a passion for cooking, okay? For making paellas. And I just discovered that last night and I want to start learning how to make paella. So I make my, my very first paella and I invite some friends uh, to my place so they can try it. And although they didn't say anything, I could feel on their faces that they hated that paella, okay? I felt super bad. They were looking at each other's faces and, you know, I felt so bad that I decided to make another paella and to invite them again. I'm pretty sure they complain about it internally, but they appeared again at home because, I mean, they are my friends. So they came again and they tried the, the second paella I made. And you could feel like there were, they were kind of liking the experience. So they were saying like, no, it's not incredible paella, but it's not as bad as the previous one. And so the third time I invited them, they came because it, it was becoming some sort of a ritual where we met to make paellas. And by the third time, they were impressed. They were saying like, hey, Kevin, I love your paellas. These, are, these things are amazing. So please keep doing this every month after month so we can keep trying your good paellas. If this is happening, they will say you are learning, right? You are becoming better at this task of making paellas. So any learning has three things, okay? Has a task, an objective task, has an experience, and has a certain performance, okay? In this case, the task is making paellas, experience is, you know, the multiple attempts of making these paellas and the performance is how, how glad your guests were regarding the, the, the outcome of your paellas, okay? So this is learning. What is machine? A machine is a device that is capable of accelerating a process. In this case, the process of learning, okay? So machine learning is just a device that accelerates the process of getting better on having high performance on a given task. The only exception here is that we are not interested in any kind of task, such as making paellas, although you can make, of course, a robot that learns how to make paellas, but we are interested on a different type of task that we call predictive tasks. And if you know, if you don't know what is a prediction, I will leave uh, a link above so you can uh, know more about it. And the experience in our case is data. So the, this device will try to execute to get better on a, data, on a certain task as it consumes more experience, as it gets more data about that task. And the performance will be any KPI you want to track about the, the performance on that task. For example, um, I don't know how many sales you are, you are having if you are training a model to produce more, more sales or, you know, how many errors it detected. So you can get more business oriented metrics or more technical metrics, such as accuracy or ROC AUC, which you will hear when you talk with machine learning guys. And of course, there is a, this course, the, the ABCs of machine learning that I already told you about, where you can learn all of this, but keep always focus on your business metrics. They are the most um, important ones. Okay, so we already know what is machine learning. Now let's go for how can machine learning be relevant for your business? We are basically training a, or we are basically building a machine that can accelerate the process of getting better on a given task, on a given job. If that job is crucial, if that job is critical for your business, you have a model that is getting better and better every day on solving that task. That model is gaining experience, that model is getting better. And if that task is crucial, if that task is critical in your business, you are basically getting a better business every day. Okay, the type of tasks that we are interested in, as I said, are predictive tasks, so on generating predictions. And predictions are basically filling in the blanks for information we don't know, which can help us be better at decision making. And the most strategic task on any business is decision making. Okay, so that is why machine learning has caused all of this hype, because it allows business businesses to get better and better and to be ever improving on decision making. Okay. So there are basically three types of tasks that we want to automate. When you're looking at your tasks, you, ne you need to recognize these three types of tasks. The first one is tasks that are subjective. So tasks where two, hu two humans 
can give a different response uh, every time you ask them what's the, the actual outcome. So machine learning is are good at these type of tasks. Also tasks that are very complex or that it will be difficult to automate or to build a recipe on how to solve it, okay? So machine learning models are actually very good at doing reverse engineering on functions or on tasks, okay? So you give them the inputs, you give them the outcomes, and then they try to figure out themselves what is the process from going from A to B. This is for the type, this is the type of task where machine learning are good, is good at. And the third one, and I think is the most important, is tasks that are, are tasks that are constantly evolving or adapting to new realities. And that is, for me, one of the most critical points that machine learning brings. It's not just the automation, it's not just uh, getting better, it's constant adaption to new realities. Okay, for me, that's a critical point uh, here for machine learning. If you like this video so far, remember to like and subscribe, of course. And let me just give you like the most common misconception of machine learning models, which is people believe they are always learning. And although this is like the unfulfilled promise of machine learning, of machine learning, the current technology is not capable of constantly learning with new data, unless you explicitly program them to be learning in an active manner, okay? In general, machine learning models have two stages. The training stage, where they absorb all of this experience, and then the inference part or the test part, where they are kind of frozen, they are not learning anything else any, any, anymore with, with the new experience, and they are just providing responses, okay? And if you want to solve this issue and actually make your machine learning model get better and better, you need to constantly retrain it. How? Adding a feedback loop. And this is very relevant in your business. I guess it's relevant for all the other tasks because you need a feedback loop to know how good you are. In machine learning, this is crucial if you want to have these ever-improving systems. You want uh, a feedback loop. Okay, so, what happens, let's say you put a machine learning model, you provide a feedback loop, and you realize that you start improving. And if you want to know how much data you will need to improve, I have a video also where I talk about that. I will leave the link uh, above. But you will realize that at some point you will reach a plateau. Okay, and this plateau is basically the best scenario of how good your machine learning model can be on solving that task. You will say, Kelvin, should I stop training or not? I already reached this plateau. I'm not getting any better with the new experience. I will, in general, my response will be no. You need to keep training, you need to keep adjusting. Why? Because most likely the task that you are solving is not a frozen task, it's a task that is evolving. It's a task that will change with the new market trends. It's a task that will evolve as your customer base changes. So if you are talking about here um, a task that is continuously evolving with the market, you want to keep training your machine learning models and that is the main competitive advantage of machine learning, which is you will keep on top of the market, okay? You will keep evolving as the market changes, while the alternative will be you will be needing to, to manually sense what is going on, learning out of it, and you know, changing your, your internal processes. Machine learning models will do that for you for free, okay? So that's the main advantage. Again, if you can fulfill on putting a feedback loop, you will fulfill this experience of getting an ever improving business with machine learning. Again, tell me in the comments if you like this video, what tasks are you trying to automate with machine learning? Remember about our free online course machine learning. So remember to like, subscribe, hope to see you soon, bye bye.